When am I getting an email? Wait, is this even happening today? It's in two days. <laughs> uh, classic. Well, <sighs> you have to keep streaming now. I can't, dude. I'm so fucking horny. I can't stream. I'm going to embarrass myself. Oh, I don't know. I can't. I can't do OKBV OK drunk. I can't. You, you realize that doing OKBV OK requires me to maintain, like, the discipline to keep clicking. Do you think I could do that right now? I would go through two images and then spend 15 minutes rambling about something and then pass out. You guys are completely insane. You're delu you're so fucking delusional. Holy shit. Oh, my fucking... <sighs> you guys are lost. You're lost. You're gone. You're completely gone. You're lost. Okay. It. I'm just going to I'm just going to play to my mindset. Can do it. Just sex advice. Whatever. Just ask questions. Losers and virgins. Just ask questions. As a loser and virgin myself, I'm happy to answer. Do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just go. Whatever. I'll wait for a real one. I'm not doing this for the comedy. I'm fully straight laced right now. I'm gigged up and juiced full. <laughs> whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> uh, the trans woman's vagina is filtered. For, I've never had sex with a neo pussy. I'll wait. I'll wait for real questions. That's fine. I'll do it. I'm play to your strengths. That's the thing. How do you transition from normal convo into sex talk? Totally depends on the person in your relationship with them. How should a trans go about dating? That's so contextual. I don't know. I'm not trans. Thoughts on Arcane or Stray? I've almost finished Arcane. I liked it a lot. Oh, dude. I've watched I watched the eight episode of Arcane last night with Canoe, and we saw the the Noxus mom, mommy, the big fucking black chick with the muscles. Holy fuck, dude. Absolutely. What's the best way to do sex in long distance? Um, have a really long dick. Actually, just read erotic literature. You can get better at sexting. Dude, so many people fucking suck at sexting. You know what sucks? Hey, chicks or bottoms or whatever in the audience, okay? Nothing sucks more than if the top... If the top types out like a paragraph on the ways in which they would destroy your asshole and you really like it and then you respond by typing like, oh my god, that's so hot. Kill yourself. Put some fucking effort in. Why is it the bottoms will literally, like, destroy themselves sucking dick. But then sometimes when it comes to, like, flirting, they're like, oh, well, surely the top will simply appreciate the, the erotic response. No, fuck you. Put some fucking effort in. Oh, my God. Because they're not... It's not even that they're lazy. Like, I have been with people who literally, like, endanger the structural integrity of their throat sucking your dick. Like, they'll, they'll, like, risk themselves trying to make you come down their throat. But if you're, if you're texting them, it's like, it, it, it's, I, I don't know. Crazy. Crazy shit. I'm too autistic. How do I not be a weirdo? Don't worry about it. Just be autistic and be a weirdo. What you need to do is make your autistic weirdo behavior compelling and confident. Don't try to be someone you're not. Be a better version of who you already are. That's the critical thing. And I believe in you. Bosh, why are you afraid of admitting you've been topped? I'm afraid of nothing. I've said this on stream. There was a trans woman who I hooked up with once who was, by the way, so you can all be jealous, divinely gorgeous by anyone's standards. You can all be jealous and just imagine what she looked like because it was insane, frankly. Way above my league. <laughs> Say that. Um, and uh, she, she would have been fine topping. I would have been fine being top with her. She's fucking gorgeous. Um, but then she moved away, you know? So well, whatever. That's just how it is. But I'm not necessarily opposed. She's, she, you know, it's, maybe my standards are higher because I'm generally a top. But she was hot. What the fuck is a sub supposed to do? Be enthusiastic, 2D Siggy. That's all you need to do. Be enthusiastic and confident. Being a sub 
is not an excuse to not be confident. Being confident is universally good. There's no situation in which it's not good to be confident. You can be a confident sub. That's fine, but you should be confident as a sub or as a bottom. Josh Jossi, it's fine socializing people without alcohol. I've gone to parties and not drank for years because I was alcohol intolerant. It's fine. Just talk to people. It's all good. What's your advice on sex with drugs? I haven't had much sex with drugs. As for like the moral or consent stuff, like if you're going to have sex with somebody who's inebriated enough, like, or through alcohol or drugs, like make sure, like the, it's dangerous territory. If this is someone you know really well and the entire night has been like them being really flirty with you and they're pretty drunk and they're like, hey, I want you to literally like just destroy my asshole. Like if they've spent the entire night being super into you and they expressed consent beforehand and during them drinking, they were like, oh yeah, I'll still probably want to hook up after. I think you can make a reasonable like, okay, well now it's the end of the night and they want to get their asshole ruined. Great, you know? But this is like risky stuff and you should always be careful. And if there's ever any doubt or concern about their enthusiasm, always, always, always lean on the side of caution. You know, more caution, the less you know them. If it's your first hookup, you should be far more cautious. Um, if you if they're literally like your fucking partner and they're drunk and they've been wanting to get fucked all night, like, well, okay, well, yeah, whatever, you know. Getting fucked while being drunk, I assume, feels good because I've fucked drunk people and they were like, oh my god, it feels good. So obviously, you know, there's got to be some value to the process. Sure, but in general, you shouldn't have sex with someone the first time inebriated. I agree. If you're going to have sex with someone the first time while inebriated, that's way too, that's way too risky, IMO. That's not, you know, like, it can be fine, of course, but that's the thing with risks, right? It can also not be fine, you know, so it's good to be careful. It's good to be careful. Exactly, Merrick. Did you hang up the second play button? No, it's still on my desk right now. I because normally it's Vermin who does the hanging up, and Vermin's gone because they left me for Australia. Favorite sex pose? The mating press, obviously, so you can fucking disintegrate their hymen, obviously. Really, like this is the nice thing about being strong and them being flexible. If you're strong enough and they're flexible enough, you can do whatever you want. That's the great thing about sex, you know? If you're if you if you're strong enough and they're flexible, their their whole body is just like a giant flashlight that you get to orient around at your convenience. With their consent, of course, obviously, you know. Um, but the the idea of like a sex position comes increasingly in tangent when when you're talking about people you can easily move around that's like you know you're this that one second then you're that this one second whatever easy space box man playing with fire is the channel that i was going to talk to today we'll talk to them on the 24th thoughts on tentacle femdom male sub i'm not into tentacles that much but I just, I've, I've jerked off the femdom porn. I just imagine I'm the woman. I don't fucking care. I'm more ideologically aligned with being a top than I am with anything else. As long as I have a dick. Pigeon. They'll leg anything. I don't really mind any of that shit. As long as I'm tall, strong, and have a dick. That's fine by me. I don't care. What if I'm a bottom who's strong but isn't flexible? Do whatever you want. It's okay. Live your life. Vosh, what if average peepee? Dude, dick size doesn't matter that much. It's fine. People are always looking for some kind of empirical, biological explanation for how people do. There are people with below average dicks who get laid tons. Now listen, okay? Do, if, if you ask most people who like to get fucked rather than fuck others, like bottoms or subs or whatever, if you ask them, hey, do you want to get like your holes literally like rearranged by a colossal dick? Most of them will say yes. But what you have to understand is, if you ask most people, hey, do you want some giant juicy titties to play around with? They'll say yes too. But they'll still love a person who's flat-chested or whatever. That's the thing you gotta understand. Sure, a lot of people have like kind of a default love of getting ruined by big dicks. But like, a lot of people have a default of like giant, unrealistically large titties. 
But then it's like, we live in the real world and there are people who don't have those things. That's fine. Like, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. It's really not. Exactly, Tempest. Are most trans and anal? You mean trans women? I, I imagine so. Certainly it seems to be a recurring pattern. You mean trans guys? Every trans man I've ever slept with has preferred vaginal sex to anal. I always feel weird, too, because I, when I'm flirting with them, you know, if you're flirting with a trans guy, you have to ask, right? Because if you're typing up horny paragraphs, you know, do you say, fuck your pussy, fuck your ass? What do you say? So you ask, you know, it always feels weird to ask, like, well, so do you want to be fucked in the ass or the pussy, whatever? Usually it's the pussy, I think. But that's, you know, person to person, whatever. Do you think bottoms enjoy sex more than tops? Yes. Bottoms enjoy sex more than tops. You know why? Because tops are cowards. Bottoms, by being completely shameless, will just lose themselves in the, you know, the, the, the rhapsodic pleasure of having their guts rearranged. They go insane for that shit, you know? They're like fully committed. Bottoms are, it's like the sex equivalent of people who will go to a buffet and just grab everything with their hands and just shovel it into their mouths and feel amazing the whole time. They're completely shameless, okay? Now, as a top, I could never enjoy sex as much as a bottom. Look at a bottom when you're having sex. How does a top look when they're having sex or whatever, right? Like, I mean, I moan during sex. I'm not shy, you know, whatever. But like, oh yeah, it's great, you know? But like, bottoms are losing their fucking minds. A lot of tops here are focused because it's like, you know, you have to maintain like the pace of the thrusting and you don't want to come too quick if that's a concern. Um, but bottoms are just like writhing around getting fucked, you know? So do bottoms enjoy sex more? Of course they do. Absolutely. You know? Um, but there is a trade-off and the trade-off is that they're degenerates and they will go to hell. So it's kind of like a temporal thing. They benefit now, but in the future, they lose their dignity and then their eternal soul. So I'm completely right, by the way. Sex havers in chat understand this fully. Everybody who has had sex understands that I'm speaking truth to power right now. Bosh, thoughts on clown girls? I don't have, like, a clussy thing, but for the novelty's sake at least. Like, yeah, I, yeah, you know, I would. Yeah. What you offer is advice people who actually do attract more people and they play into sexual objects slash sexual aggressor stereotypes but don't want to do so. Yeah, that's the problem. I have this problem too. I don't think of myself as a dom. I'm obviously a top because, you know, I've got to use my fat cock for something. But I don't really think of myself as a dom. I've been with and talked to plenty of chicks who are just like, please choke me to death and also beat the shit out of me and break every bone in my body. And... As a person who's generally turned on by the enthusiasm of my partner, you know, I'll lean into that. If they want to be smacked around, then, like, that's fine. That's okay, you know. But it's for me, it's not really a dom thing. It's just, that's what they like. And, you know, I've got big, strong hands. So, well, you know, whatever. That's fine. No, you haven't, Vashlal. Well, it's true. I don't choke people. I haven't choked people. But a lot of people ask to be smacked around, you know. Um, but yeah, they like it. That's great, you know? And if they like it, if they like, you know, so a service top? No, no, Cause When I think of service top, I think of, like, somebody who will do what's asked, but I don't do what I'm asked to do at all. I am completely self-interested during sex, and I just tend to find sexual partners who are for that. This stuff is complicated, you know? But basically, I just do whatever I want. And if they, a lot of... A lot of people just like it when other people do whatever they want. It's it's a whole it's a whole thing. Is that is that a service? It might be a service top. I don't really know. Wh whatever. Anyway, but I don't think of it as like doming or whatever. It's just like oh, they want to be like smacked in the face while they suck my dick. Okay, I'll smack. You know, whatever. Like I, I don't mind. I like conceptually. I don't mind smacking people in the face while they suck my dick if they want me to. You know, whatever. It's just I'm just moving my hand around. Um, they're having fun. You know, I'll get into it. I don't care. Um, but people's, people's understanding of the definition is going to vary significantly. Because, you know, because, like, basically everyone who likes being fucked likes having their ass smacked, right? Like, lit I've literally never met anyone, like, pussy, like, trans girl, cis girl, gay, guy, what, like, whatever. If they like being fucked, they like their ass being smacked. Like, 99.99% of the time, right? 
But there's a huge difference between them liking having their ass smacked and them liking having their ass smacked, right? Like, there are the people who just like the clap, and then there are people who want to have a handprint bruise on their ass afterwards, and you have to know who you're talking to. I think everyone likes having their ass slapped at least a little bit. Like, ha like I've had girls walk up to me and slap my ass. Great. Well, they touch my ass. That's great. Like, whatever. That's not even like a dom. That, for at least, I don't think of that as a dom thing. It's just like they they clapped your ass. Like, great. I like my ass being touched. It's not painful at that level, you know. But some people, yeah, some people are masochists. They like having their ass just annihilated with a high high kinetic impact. My girlfriend's not so, oh yeah, it's a whole thing. I, I, I met up with someone just a couple of days ago and for her, it's like, you know, it's like, uh, you grab the titties hard, right? Like for her, it, it, it was like, oh, I'm so glad I'm with somebody who's strong, you know, as opposed to this partner or that partner. And later she was like, look, you left a bruise handprint on my titty from when you grabbed it. And it was like lines that corresponded to the, the position of my hand or whatever and you know for these people you know there's the upper limit is death okay everything below that shit for these fucking people yeah kinetic impact where do you meet these people on tinder it, it just tinder is full of people you know what about switches i just whatever isn't this just mental illness Nah, no no i don't think that I make a lot of jokes, but like, I, while I don't personally feel that way, the erotic potential of masochism makes total sense to me. The idea like, oh, you derive sexual pleasure from pain, that's like, yeah, your wiring switches are like right next to each other. I don't feel that way, but I, t I like, I totally understand how a person could feel that way. So I don't, I don't think, I don't think it's like a sex exceptionally weird. I mean, to an extent, isn't everyone into it a bit, right? Like, if you're, so say you're a top, hypothetically, I know all you people are bottoms. Say you're a top, and you're, like, uh, not submissive at all, and there's a cute girl, and you're fucking her, and it's in missionary, and blah de blah and she, she, she wraps her arms around you, and she grabs you around the side, and her nails dig into your back. Do you, like, mind that? Because it's happened, and I'm not a masochist, and I don't mind that. I hate that? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I feel like a lot of people are fine with it. Um, you you do mind that? Okay, what I mind is, like, does it bother you? Because a lot of you... Oh, okay. Whatever. Okay. Because it, it does hurt, you know? Like, if, if, the, if the nails are even a little bit long, like, if they scratch you, like, that actually, like, can hurt a lot, you know? But, like, whatever. You know? Um, I get jokes, yeah. Not sufficient disk st space to continue recording. Oh, that's fine. I gotta get a new hard drive. I never replaced the old one that has all my stream VODs from like 2019. No, guys, it's fine. It's just recording, not the broadcasting. Is it bad I'm kind of jealous of bottoms enjoying themselves a lot, but not the other stuff? If you're a top... And you're jealous of bottoms having that much fun. You got to learn to lose yourself a little bit, you know? If you're like, wow, they, they sure enjoy getting fucked in the ass. Then just like top them while they eat your ass or finger your ass. or whatever. Just whatever, you know? Topping, well, topping isn't just a mindset, right? Just, the, the problem is, it's, it's like stoicism, right? Okay. What you, what you must be is be the, the Greek man, right? For whom crying is an expression of masculine passion, you know? You want to have fun. You, passion is, is, a, is, a, is a part of life. You don't want to forgo that in an effort to maintain this, like, stoic detachment from the things that you're doing, um, especially not during sex. It's sex. If you're not having fun during sex, what the fuck are you doing, right? Like... You know, like, ob like, obviously you're fucking missing the point. It's like, what the, what the, you know. Being ridden isn't good enough? Okay, I could just be speaking for me as a person who got circumcised or whatever, but just, like, 
in ter- so in terms of like physical pleasure, if I'm laying on my back and some badass chick with her big titties is riding my dick, that on its own, the physical pleasure of pussy is don't get me wrong, it's great. But it's not at all like we've not even gotten close to the ceiling here, you know? I, I, don't get me wrong, it's, it's great, you know? It's just so much more you can do. It's not what you're really there for, yeah. I do, Big Octavio, but I can't guarantee any such conversation. No can do, Merrick. What if I come too fast? I'll just jerk off before you fuck, I guess. I'll take fellatio I superior since the mouth can do what other orifices can't IMO. Eh? For me, for me, the, okay, may, maybe, maybe this is like doming or topping or whatever. But for me, when I'm getting my dick sucked, the pleasure of physically feeling my dick being sucked is playing second bill to the knowledge that they're sucking my dick, if that makes any sense, you know? Like them looking up at you and like, and you know, they're like, like choking, trying to fit your dick in their mouth or what, like that. So it's, it's more like the, Oh, look, oh, look at you. Like you're doing, oh, what a good job you're doing. Fa- what effort you're expending in, in, in this effort, you know? Um, I mean, it still feels good. Don't get me wrong. You know, it's just, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's like effort invested. Enthusiasm is as always the key. Enthusiasm is very important. It's critical. It's the fact that they wanted to choke your dick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Obviously it's like, wow, you must really like this dick if you're destroying your throat on this thing you know like your your enthusiasm it's it's like when you're fucking someone doggy and you realize that you're not thrusting forward anymore they're thrusting backward it's like oh that's nice you're right look at look at how much fun you're having down there except for oral it's different because you know it's their mouth as opposed to their pussy so it's not even like a direct sexual pleasure thing you know they're just they're just having a good time it's very important this stream. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. I am drunk. I should just end stream. I'm pretty gone. You know, well, yeah. Do you prefer sucking dick then? No, I like having my dick sucked. No? Okay, fine. Go a bit longer. I mean, I like sucking dick. Don't get me wrong. I'm not that great at it, though. I haven't had much, like, practice, frankly. All the people with dicks that I've uh, hooked up with are such incredible subs or bottoms or whatever that, like, they they just want to get railed, you know. They don't even like. They just they're very impatient. <laughs> nice tempest, of course, lone cat. Make them suck your dick. That's what they're there for. Oh, there's not. I mean, especially because especially if you're like hooking up with like a trans chick or whatever. A lot of their a lot of their dicks are purely vestigial, frankly. So you know, it, there's you you can't even really you know give like give a blowjob. So there, there's no practice to be had there. It's just, it's, it's bottoms, you know? Bottoms gonna bottom. What do you think about dudes who refuse to eat pussy? Um, massive pussies. You know, they say you are what you eat, but in the case of pussy, you are what you don't eat. Uh, unbelievable. Like, I have no idea what kind of insane fucking pussy-ass degenerate coward you have to be to not eat pussy. What a dude. Come on. Thoughts on moaning while eating pussy. Okay, you're, you're getting horny. All right, you're, you're horny. Horny ass motherfucker. Do whatever you want. I'm straight, but I think dick is better than pussy. Well, you know, you can actually be a straight guy and fuck somebody who has a dick. Did you know that? I'm gonna, this is a hot secret to all you sexually inexperienced straight guys watching, okay? Trust me when I say this, I would know. Having sex with a trans woman and having sex with a cis woman, it's like the same. I'm, I'm being serious. I really, really am. A lot of having sex with someone in terms of the experience you have, like uh, just everything about it, you know, the, the, the vibes, the interest, how things play out, uh, mechanically even, you know, it, it's all preserved. You're totally fine. You're completely fine, okay? Trust me. I have had sex with trans men uh, for whom having sex with them was like the same as having sex with cis men. Uh, and, and I've had sex with trans women for the same as like cis women, you know, it's, 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 it's not just the genitals. It's, it's just, you know, it's vibe factors. My issue with eating pussy is not the pussy, it's the hair. 
I hate hair in my mouth. Oh, well, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't really like eating completely unshaved pussy either, you know. Um, but basically every person with a pussy I've ever hooked up with has trimmed it in some fashion. I don't really feel like I have room to complain because I have not groomed any of my pubes in like a decade. Because why would I? My entire body is hairy and I have a big dick. Like, you know, anyone who fucks me is going to know that I'm hairy. It's obvious. Um, what if she doesn't like anal? Whatever. You have a jungle down there? Do you have a jungle under your arms because you don't trim your armpit hair? The hair doesn't grow out past a certain length. It's the same with all pubescent hair. Yes? It's just whatever. It's a uh, hairier jet, Kanye. Of course, spaghetti machete. But it makes your dick look bigger, though? Yeah, you can trim your dick hair if you want to make your dick look bigger, but, you know... If you don't need to, you're fine, I guess. How do I completely eradicate all hair below my scalp? Electrolysis, I think? Horny-ass motherfuckers in chat. Now, I've said this before, and I, I, I feel like I can't milk any more comedic value out of the fact that it's completely true. But if you saw me on Tinder and you, like, matched with me, guys, look at me. I'm wearing a U, a U-neck shirt. You can see my chest hair. My chest hair literally goes past my chest to my neck. This is beard. That's chest hair. I'm a hairy guy. Obviously, anyone who wants to fuck me, especially if they're already a bottom, which they all are, is going to be fully aware of the fact that when they try to throat my dick, they're going to have hair pressed up against their face. I think that's part of the appeal for them. If they didn't like hair, they wouldn't match with me. I mean... It's, it's like, it's, it's just, it's part of the aesthetic, you know? Do you shampoo your dick hair? I use body wash on my dick. I don't need to shampoo my dick hair. Uh, I'll show Gina 138, and if they like that, they can tell me or whatever. Um, not that I'll change anything. Doesn't mean you don't need to trim the pubes a bit. I like hairy guys just fine. I don't like it on my nose. Then they don't have to suck my dick. I, I will, I can only assume from the number of people who have sucked my dick and from the enthusiasm with which they have done so, that whatever I'm doing or not doing is fine. That it's, it's a fine, it's, it's working, you know? Uh, I don't think it's all social pressure if they come back for seconds. But the serious message here is that don't get too obsessed with like this, uh, mental image of what like the ideal uh you know aesthetic or sexual partner is or whatever you know people like all sorts of things back when i was in high school i was still a hairy guy i was almost this hairy in high school and i was insecure about it because the, the girls back then you know in high school high school girls like back then they liked justin bieber that's not like an internet meme at the time in high school, that was like the boy band guy that girls were really into back, you know, back in like 2008 or whatever. Um, and of course, he's hairless, you know. So I was insecure about being hairy and I tried shaving my chest and my arms. Did this get me any bitches? No. Did this uh, make my arm and chest like uncomfortable because of like a uh, razor burn? Yes. And then I finally did get a sex partner in high school, and she was a freak, and she liked me being hairy. So the message here is try not to worry about it too much. Do you like your sexual partner shaved? I don't like body hair that much. I don't care about pubic hair. For people with pussies, I don't like hair to the sides of the labia because it gets in the way of eating pussy. Apart from that, I don't care. There's like pubes above or like a bush or whatever. Uh, but yes, I don't like body hair that much. There seems to be a double standard. Really? Do you think straight men have a double standard for liking women when they don't like men? What does that mean? I am what I am, and I like people of certain appearances, and that's fine. You find people who look like X and like Y, that's fine, you know? As long as you're not a cunt about it. I don't necessarily mind hairy women that much either. Have you ever had a hair get stuck in your mouth? Everyone has, of course. How do you feel about goth trans girls? Well, I've hooked up with goth girls and trans girls. 
I don't think I've hooked up with a goth trans girl, but I'm sure that would be, I'm sure it would be great. What, cats? What do you do? Wait, 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 wait. You want to explain the baby noises I heard? What? What? <laughs> Ow! Yeah. Eesh. Yikes. Ow. Uh. I can't promise the conversation, call me Gox, and frankly, it probably wouldn't be that safe for you. But I plan to continue covering the situation. Be well and take care of yourself, okay? What are the analytics of your channel? Oh, I forget. I'm too gone for stuff like this. So how are you all doing? Serious question, at what point do preferences for skin color turn into fetishization? Don't worry about that. Fetishization isn't the issue. The question is, is your preference manifesting in negative ways? It is pretty common for people to have some degree of preference when it comes to the skin tone of their partners. Um, I don't think that's uncommon at all. The question is, is this just kind of like a general thing you tend to be into, or is it getting weird? So, for example, people also tend to have preferred breast sizes, right? Um, but I think most people would agree that even if they have preferences for breast sizes, they're pretty agnostic when it comes to, like, who they'll go for with regards to their breast sizes. So even if someone's like, yeah, I like double Ds, like, they'll hook up with and be partners to people with smaller or bigger pits, you know, like whatever. If it's just kind of a general preference, I don't think it's wrong to think like, oh, I like girls with olive toned skin or dark brown skin or what. I don't think it's that bad. Of course, if you take it too far and you're really weird and like you start engaging in selective bias and so on. What about certain kinky preference towards horsecock? Again, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Why? Why do people make jokes about this? Do you know how many bottoms I've talked to in person online? Do you know how common it is for them to go like, oh yeah, if dudes just had two foot long horse cocks, I would like let, let them destroy my holes and rearrange me and flood me with cum until I exploded. Do you have any idea how common this is? This is not uncommon, not even close. I say this before, I will say it again. You know, the, 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 the problem is the disbelief that I get with the horse cock joke, this, that, or the other, is from virgins and tops who don't understand, who haven't fully reconciled with the degeneracy of the modern bottom, okay? You don't understand. That's what they want, okay? Sure, do I want to do it to them? Of course. But this is the world we live in, all right? This is on them. It's their holes getting hypothetically ruined. Um, you know, is, 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 uh, you, you, uh, do, uh, do you like horse cock? Yeah, me and all of them, the billions, you know? Uh, you know, I've said this before, but if you actually did have a horse cock in real life, some, you know, uh, grew to two feet long with giant balls or whatever, if you did, which no one does, but if you did, do you have any idea? You, you would be weighted on hand and foot your entire life. You would be able to, you, you would be lifted from the bedroom to the kitchen for your breakfast being made by, you know, eight bottoms who are all fighting over who gets to suck your dick under the breakfast table that morning. You would be set because they would lose their minds over this. I'm, it's just the world that we live in. It's just, it's living in a society. Do you play music during sex? No, I, I don't like that at all. <laughs> yeah. 
I can already tell that last class of wine was a bad idea. What was I saying? Oh, that like kicked me way back to how drunk I was at my peak and then farther. What was I saying? Have a talk with your local bottom today, okay? Ask them, do you like the idea of your throat getting resized to around the diameter of a Coke can until your stomach is filled with a gallon of cum? They're going to say yes. That's just what they're like. It's just, <laughs> it's just what they're like. It's, it's, it's yeah. Part of me. How much of you drunk? You were supposed to get drunk fast. I've drank nearly two and a half bottles of Moscato. I feel like most people would be drunk after that, frankly. Did you see the fascist party is likely to win in Italy? Who cares who wins the elections in Italy? I Italian elections is fucking joke. Oh, wow. Ooh, Merescacci Bertoni won the election. Now you're going to get the fascism Aroni. Oh, no, you won't, because he fucks 15-year-old boys, and he's going to be investigated for it three months into his presidency, and then his younger brother is going to end up being the president or something. It's not a, it's not a real country, okay? Part of me. Ooh. See, Art of me's pure. He doesn't think about sex, because he got his balls removed, because he's fixed. See? Pure baby. Completely removed from the degeneracy of the world. Uh, we had to get rid of his balls, guys. He didn't have them in the right place. One of his balls was where his balls should be, but the other one, it was halfway up his under torso, like, like practically where his heart was. He had a he had a problem. Yeah, he would have gotten ball cancer or some shit. But he had to get him removed. How does that happen? It's a genetic defect. He would have died in the wild, but we saved him. Got his little balls taken out, and now he gets to be stupid and dumb for like twenty years. Look at how he's slumping over to the side, too. Like, look at this. A little thigh. Uh. If you're a dog owner, some people scold you for having a fixed dog. Retards. You don't want your dogs or cats getting rando pregnant. Pardon me. Ooh. Pardon me. Baby. How are you guys doing? Hmm. I bought a Desert Eagle. Hell yeah. Do you want me to show off all of my guns, which may or may not be loaded? I'm going to show you what it would look like if I fired them. I'm not going to do this. That would be irresponsible. It wouldn't actually be irresponsible, of course, because none of those guns are loaded. It would be perceptively irresponsible because the optics of drunkenly handling a firearm are pretty bad. But, you know, uh, uh, optics is king. What video games have you been playing lately? I played under rail for a while, but eventually I got a bit tired of it, which is kind of a shame because I put so many hours into it. Vosh, you forget guns are always loaded even when not. Well, of course, before bringing them on, I would check. You check the magazine to make sure that it's empty, and then you pull the slide back to make sure that the gun itself is empty, and if both of them are empty, then that's that. But, you know, I would never keep a loaded firearm in the house. Except for, of course, the defense gun, which is always loaded, that I don't show on stream. The extra secret gun that I haven't shown you guys that I never will. The, the active gun. Yes, the, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> the out of 50 cal. <laughs> the meme gun. We all know you're hard, you nerd. I stood up recently. My, my dick's not hard. I mean, ob like, obviously, I would never stand up on stream while hard. Because, like, oh boy, that would produce discourse. That's, you know. Um, but also, I st stood up just, like, a couple minutes ago. What the fuck do you mean? You wouldn't know if I was hard, okay? So my, uh, the tip would be right here. <laughs> No. Can I get a pistol caliber ammo ranking? Okay, guys, can I be real with you? I really, 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 really want to love the 45 ACP. I love the kick. I love the subsonic ammunition. I love how it makes me feel like I'm a cop from the 1930s. But, like, I don't know if I can get over the, the lower capacity. I think I have to be a 9mm bitch. I want, my toxic masculine instinct is demanding that I go for 10 millimeter it, for, if I'm insane or 45 ACP. Um, but like real practical shit demands it just be a nine millimeter. I want to see pictures, but I just said I can't bring my gun out or the thousands of rounds of ammunition that I own. 22 LR. I would only use 22 LR for plinking. I don't really think you should use it for self-defense. 
40 S and W gang, insane. How often do you shoot? Not as often as I should. Is 44 Magnum even a gun people buy? The truth of the matter is, like, this is basically settled, you know? The only real pistol ammunition calibers are 45 ACP and 9mm. For, like, self-defense or anything like that. For hunting, you can go bigger. But when it comes to, like, anything, like, with people, it's just those two. 22 LR is too small to be reliable and it doesn't have enough stopping power. And any Magnum round, like 3 357 or 44 or 500, is just, it's unnecessarily large. And revolvers are just not as effective as modern semi-automatic pistols because they have lower um, 38s. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, but whatever. How much should you shoot? Well, it depends on a lot of stuff. Could you imagine an S and W 500 as your everyday carry? That seems a bit unnecessary. 5.7 is the best handgun round? Yeah, if you're fucking rich. You fucking joking? Yeah, 5.7 is the best handgun round in fucking the, the Bel Air or some shit where you can, you know, you can you can go down to the range and practice with your 5.7 pistol and just, hmm, only $4,000 spent on today's, uh, <laughs> on, on, on today's, uh, 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 marksmanship lessons. Isn't the rhino sexy? Yeah, the main fucking problem is that even though they're, like, objectively inferior for most self-defense purposes, revolvers also look really cool if you're willing to, like, go hard with them. This is a bottom-firing cylinder. It fires um, down, down the bottom here. It's so fucking cool, you know? It looks sick as shit. But it's also just like, oh yeah, six bullets? Great. That's one-third of, like, a Glock 19, you know? 10 millimeters often touted as one of the best handgun cartridges because of proper 10 millimeter, essentially magnums. Yeah, but 10 millimeter, the, it, it's unnecessarily large. And also the magazines are going to be smaller. 10 millimeter is so fucking big. I don't know if you don't hit with six, you won't hit with 18. Yeah, but what if it's like a terrorist attack and you have to shoot a bunch of them? Think about that, huh? Uh, 25 auto, uh, 32 SNW. Wait, is 22 LR not on this list? Why would you not have that there? It's like the... Why would you not have 22 LR here? It's like the... I'm looking at pistol sizes, not... Yeah, there you go. 22 LR right here. Uh, MWR, 25 ACP, 380 ACP. 357 SIG, 28 short pull, 20 SOS. 357 Magnum, I've got a revolver for that. 40, uh, so 10 millimeter ACP right here. Um, as compared to the 9 millimeter Luger right here, much larger. 44 Remington Magnum, 45 ACP. That's a big fat short bullet, uh, and then the 45 long pull. Yeah. 22 LR is a rifle caliber. Yeah, but plenty of pistols use it, you know? It's a really cheap bullet. Again, I've got, like, a ton of them back there. Why are there so many bullet types? Well, I don't know. Think of how many different, like, brands of water bottle there are, you know? It, it, pe people come up, people, tr like, you know, they come up with a bullet type to try to, like, s solve a problem, and, uh, you know, a lot of them do different things as well. Like, there are different purposes for a lot of these. I don't know enough about guns to have, like, a strong idea on the validity of a lot of these. Larger calibers tend to be more for hunting, like if you want to kill a bear or some shit. And stuff like 22 LR, you know, tends to be, like, for smaller hunting. And stuff in the middle tends to be stuff humans use on humans. Um, when it comes to pistols, at least. When it comes to pistol calibers, it's pretty much down to, like, um, 9 millimeter, which is the most popular one. And then 45 ACP, which is over here. And uh, sometimes people use stuff like uh, 380 ACP. You know, whatever. Yeah, 22 LR is used for uh, target practice a lot, too. 10 millimeters is a pretty common bear caliber gun. Yeah, because they're big bullets. There are like 20 different 9 millimeter rounds. Yeah, 9 millimeter Luger, 39 millimeter. Yeah. Want to watch a 50 cal gun explode in a guy's face and he survives? No, that's okay. My, um... My uh, .50 AE cost me three bucks a round. Yeah, fuck that, dude. How hard would it be to kill a bear with a 9mm Glock? Well, when it comes to... Okay, when it comes to stopping power, even if you're using a really small bullet, like a 22 long rifle, a, a shot to the head or heart will just kill you. You could probably kill a bear uh, with a 22 LR if you get them right in the head or the heart. Stopping power is more about how reliably can you make them stop moving towards you, even if you're not getting them in like the dead perfect shot. Um, and most shots are not just are not going to hit the heart. First of all, if you're shooting at something, especially a bear, you don't aim for the fucking head. There's just like a blurry blob in front of you and you start firing at it. 
um, you really don't rely on like headshots for panic self-defense. That's just not, you know, it's like the um, shoot to wound thing in, in movies. Like it's not really a thing. Like if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're shooting a gun, like, you know, you just sort of shoot center mass, you know, and for a bear everywhere is center mass because they're big fucking, because <laughs> they're bears. Um, and, uh, and the, the question with like the bullet caliber size is like, is the bullet large enough that even if it doesn't hit their heart or their brain, will it still like make them shut the fuck up? That's what you want to do. You want to make them shut the fuck up. That's the goal, you know, with humans, with bears, with moose, you want to make them shut the fuck up, like right then, you know? And the problem is, is that bears being largely rotund animals, uh, will not shut the fuck up if they just get shot in the gut with a 22 LR. Uh, so for that, you know, people use, yeah, like 4570 or some shit like that, you know, giant fucking bullets, um, to, uh, to put them down. And for humans, anything in the nine millimeter to 45 ACP range is an acceptable shut the fuck up size, where even if you don't get them in their like critical dead zones, you, 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 you still make them shut the fuck up. Shotgun literally wins over Magnum revolvers. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a shotgun, but you know, they're also fast as fuck. Bears are crazy fast, dude. Saw so its reflection in the mirror. Now it's fighting the mirror. Dude, look at how excited he is. I mean, it's scary, but like, look at how excited he is. copyright right i didn't have my earbuds in it's true con your trump did have an insane dumpy i want to get this one it looks cool and holds 17 rounds which is a bit overkill but i like overkill this looks like a nice gun i'm saying purely for aesthetic reasons my two favorite guns are my nine millimeter and 10 mil millimeters uh, sorry nine millimeter and 45 AB acp six hours respectively i'm very fond of those guns there are like nine millimeter versions of revolvers too aren't there sounds like it's self-defeating no there are yeah but if, if anybody who uses a revolver in this day and age is doing so largely for aesthetic reasons, in my personal opinion, it is true that revolvers, generally speaking, are of simpler construction and therefore don't jam quite as easily, and that it's easier to diagnose problems with them and address them. Uh, but the differences are incredibly marginal these days. Like, we're, t we're talking, like, unfathomably small differences when it comes to, like, um the likelihood of a jam with this sort of thing. And revolvers generally only have like six bullets, whereas semi-automatics can have like 10 to 20, depending on the, the size of the grip and the bullet caliber. I don't know, Lone Cat. Depend uh, they're not real. I do want to watch Cyberpunk Edge Runners. yeah. Don't revolvers help with the intimidation factor? Someone with revolvers probably going for the kill? Well, whatever. For, for, me, for me personally, I think like the main benefit of a revolver is actually that it's more uh, apocalypse proof. Because um, I've disassembled revolvers and I've disassembled semi-automatics, and I feel like your average person could maintain a revolver like decently well with the right knowledge and tools, whereas maintaining a semi-automatic would be much harder given enough time. Uh, just from the number of parts and the... Um, the uh, the precision with with, the, with with which those parts have to operate. Now, if you look at the internals of a revolver, they're just as complex, if not more so. Well, I, I have looked at the internals of a revolver, and I disagree. In my experience, disassembling and cleaning my 357, uh, I, 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 I feel I feel like it's it's quite a bit simpler to put together, right? Are you a good shot? Uh, not as not as good as I'd like to be. You know, I don't think they're very aesthetic, President Kalk. Can you do the revolver ocelot spin with your revolver? Uh, <laughs> I've never tried. I've never, I've never made the effort. What sauce do you dip your bullets in before shooting? Ketchup, obviously. Uh, guns are neat. Be safe. You know, be safe. Uh, take care of yourself. Look up the Browning High Power. I am familiar with the Browning High Power. Don't worry. They are nice looking. I don't know what the... Um, I don't know what the technical name for it is, but when 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 firearms um when firearms have this this like a uh, dip at the end, 
when, when the when the the frame sort of thins and you just basically have the barrel. I, I think that's quite attractive, personally. You need this high power. Nice. I do like guns that look like they belong to drug dealers. Look at the Jericho 941. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's 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 a handsome gun. For me, for me, the main line for me is that um, I need a gun to be all metal. I hate firing a gun that is just like injected plastic. I hate that. I just I hate the feeling. I've fired Glocks. I know they're fine machines. I know they work well. I just do not like it. It makes it feel like a toy, and a gun is just such an incredibly dangerous tool. It, it just feels. Wood though, well, wood handles are fine, but the the frame of the gun I think should be should be metal. I do like my uh, I do like my cartel 1911s though. Shit like this, God. Sadly, 1911s are uh, uh, a a a a somewhat vestigial um, type of firearm. I might um, I, I I might I might consider getting like a 1911 in nine millimeter and see if I can get a double stack. And then get that engraved. I, I kind of want like a like a big dick dick wavy gun. Getting a nine getting a nine millimeter nineteen eleven, and getting yeah with with like eighteen bullet capacity. It, that's super easy. Yeah, well I might seven round ammo capacity. Well, if it's forty five ACP boomer gun but based. Well, you guys have seen the gun that my grandfather got, right? For those of you who haven't seen, it's unloaded. I would never load this gun. It's from my grandfather. It's made in the name of my mom. Um, he got it a little bit after my, um, my mom was born. It's commemorative for his service in the Navy as a commander. Closer? Yeah. Uh, the autofocus is a bit... Uh, yeah. Uh, in gold, U.S. Navy commemorative M1911A145. Not self, but country, with a navy emblem here in the um, in the wood grip. I I mean, it is very pretty, isn't it? And on this side, it says, "For my daughter," and it refers to my mom. I would never load that gun, of course. It's commemorative. I would never want to uh, damage it with firing. Best gun for ten dollars? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Staccato 2011s are bourgeois decadence. My grandfather likes staccatos. He bragged to me when he got like three of them. Those things are expensive. I, however, am not a tremendous fan. They look too, um, they look like this, you know? I don't like the flared uh, bottom of the grip. I don't like the extended magazine. I don't know why there's not a good swoop here. I feel like a swoop would look cooler, personally. Um, I, I, I do like the little grooves in the side of the slide, you know? And I don't mind the trigger or the trigger guard, but um, for what it's worth, they're ex incredibly high uh, quality guns. They're very expensive and made very, very well. Uh, Staccato is the um, Staccato is the main producer of guns that are sort of modeled off the 1911, but in a modern sense. Uh, if wait, if I look in the store right now, handguns Staccato. Uh, Staccato P. Buy now. How much does this shit cost? Yeah, 2099 to 2799. Uh, just as the base for the model. Uh, and it goes up from there, I assume. What would be a good, sh uh, start? Not a Staccato 2011. The M1 Garand is a very aesthetic gun, Dross Drossy. Not a very, uh, effective one compared to modern firearms. I think they break in two shots, cassette. Not really, they're fine. Five seven. Guys, please don't buy any five seven pistols. It's like it's like the heavy from Team Fortress 2, you know? This gun costs four hundred and thirty-seven dollars to fire for thirty seconds. Do not buy any fucking five seven guns, please. Too bad, because there are some nice five seven pistols. The ammo price alone is making me sweat. I can look it up. Um, five seven ammo costs. What what is it right now? Five seven by twenty eight millimeter. Um, fifty rounds for thirty one bucks. Really? Oh, that's cheaper than I've seen before. 
Uh, 62 cents per round is expensive, but not crazy expensive. I've seen it more expensive than that by far. That's, that's manageable. Has it gone down? Are five sevens viable now? Should I buy a five seven pistol, a fuck ton of ammo, and then for the rest of my life, I get to be like, mm, I've got a five seven pistol, mm, pachoo pachoo, or some shit like that. The main thing that I want, um, what's what's that modern gun that has the gigantic uh, horizontal loading for the five seven shots? It's like a P ninety, but it's a pistol. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? It's made by that gun company that likes making wacky shit. No, it's the Keltec P50. This thing. This thing is like the future if the future was retarded, okay? The magazine is horizontally loaded with 5.7 um, bullets. You open up the entire, um, the entire pistol to reload it, and it has a capacity of 50 bullets. How wild is that? Yeah, it's like opening up a stapler. Literally, though. And it is ready to fire, which is pretty crazy. Load it. Well, and, two of oil. and all that calibers in. So we're empty. Open that out. Look at that. Falls out. Throw another one in. Close it. And then this has a charging handle, very similar to an AR-15. That's correct. And you can see, check that you're loaded or clear. And then you got your round in there. You're it's ready. it's pretty wacky. I, personally, I like it just for the novelty factor. I don't think this is viable. I think Caltech just likes making wacky shit. Personally, but yeah. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Look at how clunky the handgun is in his hands too. It's like such a huge fuck. Yeah, okay. you know whatever. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> um. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just being silly at this point. I am drunk. I want to eat food. I, I was supposed to have a debate right now. I didn't have the debate because I'm retarded. I love you all very much. It's been an incredibly fun stream. Consider anyone... If you if you watched this stream and you had a good time, uh, that's because I love you, okay? I'll stream tomorrow. Lots of stuff to do out there, you know? Uh, I'm going to have some food. I needed to sponge up the the like nearly two and a half bottles of wine, which, again, I'm a lightweight. I was drunk after the first bottle. I gotta, gotta sponge it up, you know? I love you guys, okay? Take care. This is a special... Wait, be gay for a second. This is a special community, okay? You know? I'm sure there are lots of YouTubers who feel similarly about their communities, and I don't want to pretend that I'm that special, but I do. This is, this is, this is special to me. It means a lot. Okay, I care a lot about you guys, you know? Obviously, in sort of an abstract, collective sense, rather than necessarily an individual sense because i don't know all of you personally i'm not trying to foster a parasocial you know bond but i'm just trying to indicate the depth of my appreciation for this community as a whole i love you guys very much you're beautiful let me throw you guys over to uh